Following an AXED news conference, the province will be reviewing isolation guidelines in light of changes south of the border. Yesterday, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control cut down its requirement to stay at home in half. Jason Gaidola has the latest. The Ontario government shelved a COVID-19 announcement today following isolation changes in the U.S. where positive cases are told to quarantine for only five days. The Ministry of Health says in light of the recently updated guidance from the CDC on shortening the recommended isolation and quarantine period, the Office of the Chief Medical Officer of Health and Public Health Ontario are evaluating this guidance against Ontario-specific evidence. South of the border, the change went from 10 days to five for infected Americans, regardless of their vaccination status. Once completed and symptom free, they can leave home. U.S. officials say evidence is showing cases are most infectious in the two days before and three days after symptoms develop. Spent a considerable amount of time discussing, namely getting people back in half the time than they would have been out so that they can get back to the workplace doing things that are important to keep society running smoothly. Back on the home front in Oakville where people are lining up for boosters, the news drew mixed reaction. We don't have enough data for Omicron. It is something new, so we need some time, at least a few months, to get some data and then decide if five days is enough or 10 days is enough. I was okay with the 10 days, but I think if they say seven days is safe, then, then that's great. I think people need to start getting out. And the virus has been changing, so I think I think they have to change along with it and make sure we adjust the policies. The CDC is telling Americans who test positive, whether vaccinated or not, once their five-day isolation period is complete, they must continue to wear a mask around others for an additional five days. The surge in Omicron also prompted the province to pause social visits at long-term care homes. Minister Rod Phillips says at least 41 facilities are dealing with outbreaks. Here in Hamilton, the city says Ottawild Manor is facing one. The biggest single factor uh, affecting the outbreaks of long-term care homes will be the prevalence of community spread. The most recent information, including from the science table and others that are indicating uh, the, uh, the prevalence even among uh, vaccinated individuals from a transmission perspective, that's new information. Phillips says changes come in effect as of Thursday and homes will be restricted to two vaccinated caregivers per resident. Hamilton Public Health declared the outbreak here at Ottawild Manor yesterday. And now, as for the province's postponement today, Ontario's top doctor was going to share new rules on COVID-19 testing and case management. The Ministry of Health tells us that Dr. Kieran Moore will provide an update sometime later this week.